Okay, the first part of your test is just like the review, you're going to have to know the different properties. So we have basically four different properties. We have the commutative property, which switches the order around. Associative property, which the order from left to right stays the same, but you're changing where the parentheses are. You're changing the grouping. The identity property is you're either multiplying by 1, which I am right here, or adding 0. So that's the third one, identity. And the fourth one is a distributive property, which is a combination of multiplying and adding. So make sure that not only do you know if it's adding or multiplying, but that you know what, whether it's commutative, associative, identity, or distributive. So distributive, you don't write adding, you don't need to write plus or times for it. Part two, simplify each. So for number eight, I'm going to use the distributive property. So it's 5x plus 10, because 5 times 2 is 10. And I'm not going to add these, because these are not like terms. This one has an x, and that one doesn't. Number 9 is you're going to make each one of these opposite. So it's negative x minus y. Number 10, you're going to multiply negative 4 times each. So it's going to be a negative 4x and then a plus 8. Number 11, you're going to do two sets of parentheses. So, or distribute a property twice. So it's going to be negative 5x minus 5. And the second part is going to be negative x minus 2. Now at the end, you have to add like terms. So you have a negative 5x and a negative 1x. There's a 1 right there. Makes negative 6x's. Negative 5 and negative 2 make negative 7. Number 12, I'm going to write a negative 1 in front of there. So it's going to be 2x and negative x is x and then a plus y. I can't combine these because these are not like terms. 13, I'm going to write a 1 right there. So 15x's and 1x's is 16x minus 12y is the answer. Okay, then use the expression, list the coefficients. So the coefficients are numbers that are in front of variables. So this one is one of them because it's 1x, comma, 2 is another one, and then a negative 3. 10 is not a coefficient. It does not have a variable in front of it. So that's called the constant. The like terms have the same variables. So the like terms are a 2y, a comma, and a negative 3y. And the last one is to simplify it. So I'm going to rewrite it. So it's x plus 2y minus 3y plus 10. So to simplify, what you want to do is you want to combine like terms and go in alphabetical order. So there's an x. I cancel it. There's a 2y and a negative 3y. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 or negative y. Cancel, cancel. And I'm left with the constant. So I can't combine these anymore because there are no more like terms. Number 18, is negative 6 a solution? So our answer is either going to be yes or no. So to see if it's a solution, you need to take y and plug it in negative 6. So is negative 6 plus 12 equal negative 18? Is that true? Does the left-hand side equal the right-hand side? The left-hand side is 6, and the right-hand side is negative 18, so no, it's not a solution. Number 19, is negative 1 a solution? So is negative 1 plus 4 equal 5? Well, the left-hand side is 3. Does 3 equal 5? No, so it's not a solution. It's false. Number 20, write an inequality. So an inequality is less than greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So she has at most $12. I'm always going to write my variable on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to write my variable on the left-hand side for all of these. And it's 12. Okay, at most. 
So can you have $12? Yes, you can. So you put an equal sign at the bottom. At most, $12. Can you have more than $12? No, you have to have less than 12 or equal to 12. So there's my answer. I have, I should say, I have fewer than six pets. So I'm going to put six. Now fewer. Can you have six? No. Can you have five? Yes, you have less than six. She has a limit. Limit of two cups. So two is my number. So limit means that you can have it, so I'm going to put the equal sign. And the limit means you can't go over it, so it's less than or equal to. And if you had to graph it, this would be a closed dot. This would be an open dot. And this would be a closed dot. But we're going to go up over that in the next page. Okay, my neighbor makes $15 per lawn. Remember, per means multiply. That he mows. He earned 150 this past month. Write and solve an equation to find the number of lawns. That's going to be our variable. Mowed. So number of lawns right here. 15n earned equals 150. Now we have to solve for n. This is multiplying, so we have to divide both sides by 15. So n equals 10 lawns. And number 22, Becky's luggage totaled 80, so it added up to 80. Totaled plus added up to 80. One bag weighed 32 pounds. Could the other bag weigh 58 pounds? So if you plugged in 32 plus 58, do you get 80? So does 32 plus 58 equal 80? 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 is 9. No, so she it wouldn't work. And number 23, we're going to start solving equations. So 23a, I'm going to subtract 8. So it's x equals negative 20. B, I'm going to multiply both sides by 6, so negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Number C, I'm going to divide both sides by 12 to get x by itself, so 0 divided by 12 is 0. 24 is kind of a tricky one, You need or D, you need, you need to put a negative 1 in front. So you're going to divide both sides by negative 1, so y equals 12 divided by negative 1 is negative 12. Now, e, I need, I'm dividing by negative 3, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. So it's 15 equals x, because negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. Okay, f is our first inequality. So you're going to add 4 to both sides. So y is greater than 12. So I make a mark at 12. This is going to be an open circle, so numbers that are greater than 12, because there's two dots on y and one dot on 12, one dot numbers that are greater are 13 would work, 14, so I'm going to go in the direction of 13 and 14 and make an arrow. Letter G, I'm dividing by negative 6, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 6. Now, this is the key thing. When you multiply both sides by a negative, and it's an inequality, you're going to change the direction. So instead of less than, it's now going to be greater. So negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. So again, I make a 12. It's an open dot. And just like the previous problem, numbers that are greater than 12 are going to the right. Okay, then H. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And when I divide by negative 3, instead of it being greater than, it's going to be less than or equal to because I'm dividing by a negative number. So this is negative 4. So you make a closed dot at negative 4 and go to the left. 
numbers that are less than negative 4 are negative 5 would work, negative 6, and those numbers are all going this way. Letter I, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. I'm multiplying both sides by a positive number. This is a positive number. It doesn't matter that negative 10 is negative, but you're multiplying by a positive number. So it doesn't change. So I'm still going to have negative 20. Still keep the direction the same. These to cancel out, so it's going to be y. So you can write it to have their, your variable on the left-hand side. This is y is less than negative 20. See on both sides how negative 20 has the two dots? That means that negative 20 is greater than y, or y is less than negative 20. So numbers that are less than negative 20 go that way. And then j, I want to add 9 to each side. So negative 13 plus 9 is negative 4, less than or equal to x. Or you can write it with the variable on the left-hand side, x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So you put a negative 4. It's going to be a closed dot. So remember, less than or, e less than or greater than, open dot. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, close dot. So this is all numbers that are greater than negative 4. So 0, negative 3, 5, those are numbers over there. And then the last part, write an inequality for each. So I'm going to put my variable on the left-hand side for each of these. Um, these numbers are going to the left of 0. So numbers that are to the left of 0 are less than, and since this is a closed dot, it's going to be equal to. So there's my answer. 3 is my number because that's where the circle is. And these numbers are greater, so that's why there's two dots on x and one on three, so there's my final answer.